Hello, this is Art with Northwest Justice Project going over a new project here. I'm going to be highlighting cool stuff going on in the community on a weekly basis, and we're calling it This Week in Legal Services Tech. This is really inspired by This Week in Tech, which has been an awesome podcast forever. If you've got any ideas, things that I should cover in this weekly wrap-up, please send me an email or fill out the survey that's in the description here. We're covering four things this week. The upcoming Legal Services Virtual Hackathon, how to run a hackathon, Justice Hub, which is kind of a pitch portal, and a interview with Claudia Johnson. Let's jump right in here with what I'm doing all weekend. It's a Legal Services Virtual Hackathon. Online, there's gonna be people participating from all over the US, you don't have to be in the US, you could participate from anywhere. Registration is free, there is no cost to it, it's during the day on Saturday and Sunday. Four projects that really jumped out to me is one on using chatbots to help kids who have just aged out of the foster care system, that looks really awesome. Tools for working on your public loan forgiveness. Uh, that one's very relevant to me. I have giant public loans. Ethics and privacy. There's a bunch of best practices that have been discussed at recent conferences, and we're gonna be refining those. I'm gonna be doing a bit of an offshoot of that and trying to come up with a legal services specific privacy policy, and maybe even a privacy policy generator, something that's much more broad that has user rights in mind. And then there's a client tool for collecting evidence. That looks really interesting to me. I'm gonna drop in on that group and watch what they're doing. There's another nine or 10 projects that have been suggested. I definitely check out the website and if you got some time to help out this weekend, drop by the Virtual Legal Hackathon. If you are interested in running your own hackathon, Northwest Justice Project, myself and Ket recently published a guide on running game jams and hackathons. As you may already know, we did a giant game jam last year, 100 participants online. We took all of our lessons learned and put it into kind of a 10 page PDF that includes your budgets, things to think about, how you deal with food, uh, security, venue, all of those things are listed in this hackathon game jam guide. Definitely recommend checking it out. Ket did a wonderful job on it. The next project that I'm highlighting is Justice Hub. It's a pitch portal where you can put up any project you're working on in legal services for profit or nonprofit, and get people to contribute to work on improving these projects. You've got a UX designer with some extra time, or if you're looking for help to code something, this is a way to connect with other projects that are out there. It's really just launched recently. Uh, the community is starting to grow around it. I look forward to putting up some projects from LSNTAP this summer. The last thing that I've got here for this week is an article I recommend people check out with Claudia Johnson. It is a really good interview that was done with her recently. The quote that I've got here just outlines her way of thinking with regards to technology. We are not just using technology to enable lawyers to do what they've always done, but we need to use data science. We need to use AI. We need to partner with research institutions and find new ways to apply technology to the justice gap, to improving our clients' lives, to improving everyone's lives. Claudia has been a real innovator in the community, and I strongly recommend checking out this article. It's a great interview with her. She has just been incredible in the community. Thank you. This has been Sart with Northwest Justice Project and LSNTAP. Please drop me an email if there's anything that you would like to see in these or any questions that you've got. Also, any questions that are in the comments, I will personally answer. Thank you all so much for checking this out. I look forward to hearing your feedback.